Hi everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Natural Living by Inofi, where I show you how easy it is to prepare your favorite meals with healthy options, driving directions around Jamaica, self-care, home care, and so much more. My focus is always on a healthy lifestyle and discussions on how to maintain a positive mindset. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Subscription is free, so all you need to do is press that red arrow at the bottom of the video. Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how special the Jamaican food and the flavor of our food is and why it is so flavorful and why it is so special because everyone knows that Jamaica has gained worldwide recognition in its bold, flavorful and diverse dishes. And this is all rooted in the island's rich history and cultural melting pot. Jamaican cuisine is a fusion of African, European, Tainos, Asian influences and that happened throughout the history of Jamaica. From the earliest as the Tainos who were the original people living in Jamaica, who introduced jerk right up to you had the Europeans coming in you had between the Spanish Portuguese the British and then you also had then the Africans came over as slaves and then you had the East Indians and the Chinese and many other influences later down like the Jews and many other influences that it's not normally talked about as much um so what i'm going to tell you now about is we're going to go to each one of our most popular dishes that you hear about all the time and also into some of the others that you might not hear about as much i'm going to show you beautiful photos and tell you about them coming from the meals i've cooked and i will direct you to where you can get some of these recipes right some of our dishes were also introduced from the early days like in slavery where they had to have things like salted fish we call it salt fish um, and this was needed because it, it, it didn't have to be refrigerated and it provided a source of protein for the, the African slaves who were here and then this just was incorporated now it is also a part of our national dish and you know we spoke about and we have the Tainos who introduced the jerk then you had the Chinese who came in with the stir fries and the other Chinese dishes and the Indians came with their curries and all the rotis and all those beautiful and great flavors of the turmeric and the different flavors of the different ingredients of the masala and all of that just made Jamaica into this beautiful Jamaican cuisine into this beautiful aromatic melting pot of just flavors that you'll never find anywhere else in the world you will see people on social media always saying where this it is the best food they've ever had and they always state Jamaica first or maybe in the top three but most times they would say Jamaica is the number one for good food and we have this way of braising our meal our foods like oxtail or slow cooking our food like jerk which makes the and pre-seasoning our meat and using lots of dried and green seasonings which just soak into all of that especially into the meat and goes right down to the bone so that's one thing we are known for we usually season our meals very well we even like for our sunday dinners and many jamaicans would season their chicken and anything else from the night before and then cook on Sunday which is a very special day for Jamaicans we always like to have a nice Sunday dinner most of our dishes have a base seasoning of onions garlic scallions scotch bonnet pepper thyme uh, sometimes we use seed peppers like bell peppers and we also like to use tomatoes if the dish calls for tomatoes and we also love to add our pimentos that's our allspice they call it which are some little dark seed looking looking like black pepper but they have a very aromatic flavor 
combining the flavors of cinnamon cloves and some other spices that we know but it's all in one the pimento and we combine this with our other dried seasonings you can use your favorite dried seasoning whichever you like we have our local ones and we have others that we get from abroad and all of that now we just combine it either in the seasoning of the meat or when we are braising or cooking or we call stewing cooking down in liquid um, our meats and other uh, rice and other um, foods and we tend to cook our like for salt fish and some other fish dishes we tend to and, and cooking like callaloo and other vegetables we would cut up these and cook it in oil preferably coconut oil but because that is very expensive we use other any other oil on hand and we sort of simmer it down in the oil as you see here I simmer it down until the oil gets the flavor of the color of the tomatoes and then for example if I'm cooking salted fish then I would add the salted fish once the seasonings are nicely cooked down we call it fry up fried up nicely in the oil another big reason why our food is so special is because we have lots of fresh fruits and vegetables um, that we co combine and have it as like salads or cook it in our meals so we have string beans and okra we use kale um, in our salads too and smoothies and stuff like that but we use a turmeric root you can see there in the background and as well as the turmeric powder we use lots of ginger uh, our pumpkin uh, lettuce is fresh tomatoes are nice and fresh and juicy and we have our special fruits with our bananas our soursop and all those things for our juices and just and also to combine like our pineapple in our sweet and sour sauces or in our chicken and pineapple sauces or whatever else you want to cook we have our big large big avocados and all those great things which we love to combine to make our meals so special and our callaloo is very good too it is like a spinach but it is not spinach but we use it and we steam it by itself we cook it combine it with other vegetables like cabbage or we might also combine it with um just cook it with salt fish or have it on the side so here we see some lovely avocados and some nest berries which are another tropical fruit that we have here we'll speak more about those later down in the video so we're going to start off with our national dish which is ackee and salt fish this is very unique because ackee is also grown in other, some other countries but they are so afraid of it because it is poisonous before the fruit is open it's these little fleshy yellow pods with a little black seed and they are enclosed in a pinkish reddish outer covering and if you try to get out those Aki yellow yellow fleshy pods out of this in, um, casing before the time it it, you, it will it can cause poisoning but once it opens naturally it is fine so this is the pods usually three in a pod and then you have that's how they are with that little black seed at the top then you take off the seed and a little pink thing in the middle and then this is how it is after you've taken all that off and we boil it in some salted water so we have used that to make our delicious ackee and salt fish with all our natural and aromatic seasonings and you see here how oh, it is so colorful with all the different seasonings and we have like we eat it with anything we like it with breadfruit plantain both green and ripe we like it with even rice even rice and peas bread anything we just we have it with like yam that's our sweet potato or even like irish potato 
um, dumplings and all of that but we'll go into all of these things further down so I will just touch on the surface for certain things but I will stick to the key items which we are discussing anyone who says peas and rice is not Jamaican what we say is rice and peas um, we have the red peas which is really red kidney beans and we have the the gunga peas which is also known as pigeon peas which we use to make our rice and peas or any other sort of peas or beans can be cooked in the same way by cooking down all the seasonings into this coconut cream and then you add your, your rice that is after you boil the peas really well then you add the seasonings then the rice and then you simmer that down into a wonderful wonderful meal rice and peas which is one of our main side orders in our dishes next we have jerk we all know that um, the Jamaican jerk is very unique and special once you say jerk everybody knows that is from Jamaica what makes jerk so special our Jamaican jerk seasoning is made up of so many spices all blended together nowadays we use a blender but in the older days we would crush everything together and we would use our unique scotch bonnet peppers onions garlic thyme scallions all spice which is a pimento which is at one point it was thought pimento was just unique to jamaica but now it's being grown in other countries nutmeg cinnamon a little brown sugar for sweetness black pepper soy sauce veget a little vegetable oil or coconut oil fresh lime juice or vinegar and the ginger so these are all and other people will add their own thing maybe take out some things and not use everything but one of the main things with jerk is that as you can see here in portland where that's where we used to go to get jerk before it got so common in jamaica um they roasted they slow cooked the meat over fire on uh, over wood fire which they would burn and then um, the coals that were left back and they would put the, the sticks from the pimento trees the same pimento spice which is called all spice and they would put the meat on it and here you see them doing jerk pork and they would put and that would absorb all the flavor from the pimento wood and so now we now have um, a fast food we wouldn't call it fast food because it's healthy food where we can just go and drive up to the drive through and order our jerk chicken now and we do here I made some jerk chicken at home so this is very popular in Jamaica and it is unmatched it is unmatched and where we have at every corner in Jamaica especially in the evenings you will find someone especially on the weekends using these um, metal pans which they cut into two with charcoal underneath and a grill on top and they put the chicken there or other meats there and they actually cover it and all the smoke would give it that unique flavor and you can just drive up and buy your quarter jerk chicken with some jerk sauce or just some ketchup and some hard dough bread and that's how we do it here in Jamaica and that is Jamaicans have spread this abroad in the diaspora so everyone knows now what our jerk chicken or pork or whatever it is we even have a jerk festival in Jamaica now and everyone knows Jamaicans love chicken we love chicken we mostly have chicken too on Sundays many people love to have either fried chicken or baked chicken on Sundays at Christmas time or holidays we would do like a full roast chicken or sometimes too and we would cook like fricassee chicken which is somewhat like brown stew chicken which we have but normally for brown stewing the chicken we cut it up smaller and add maybe more browning sometimes you add ketchup sometimes you don't fricassee and we call home style chicken it's the same but for me i would say home style is the old-fashioned way where you don't use any browning in 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 the in the chicken you just let it brown naturally and use that to cook down um, the chicken or some people would use some of that and ketchup for the for my home style chicken i use a lot of tomatoes so i don't need to use tomato sauce um ketchup in it 
but you can do all of that and we just call it fricassee and you know everybody have their own idea of what their fricassee or what their brown stew chicken is so that's what jamaica is all about and our curry chicken which we got from our indian um ancestors who came to jamaica um, with the turmeric and the masala for those who understand what masala is it's it, one of the main ingredients is coriander and we have um, barbecue chicken too we also do barbecue chicken in jamaica too the next one is one of the favorites it is oxtail it is the tail of the cow which they slice up and it is very flavorful and for you to cook oxtail properly it has to be slow cooked or cooked in a pressure cooker because it takes quite some time to cook and with the same Jamaican flavors and seasonings and you cook it down you add some browning which is really caramelized um, sugar or uh, burnt sugar and um, which has a unique flavor too and you cook it down and you add beans or you can add, add other things to it too but and everyone knows most people when you ask them what's the favorite thing to have in Jamaica it's either jerk chicken or oxtail and uh, for beef yes we do have other beef dishes outside of oxtail we have we like to do pot roasted beef or just roast it in the oven especially at holiday like Christmas but we are and we like to do brown stew beef but we are also known for corned beef which is it comes in a tin and you just take off the the it comes with a key on the tin which you used to like take off a strip of the tin open it up and you have your corned beef and you just cook it in your regular onion skeleton and all of that and we like the corned beef with rice or dumplings or anything like that and i will go into our side dishes later down our curry goat is also what we inherited from our curry dishes in india i know there's a lot of goat eaten in africa but i know the curry came from india and curry goat is also eaten in india um so we have the curry with our roti and our dal and our anything else that we feel like having it with many people like our curry goat with plain white rice many people like it with rice and peas um but many people love it with just roti too so anything you have it with just like any other meat dish in jamaica we just mix everything whichever it is whether it's brown provisions or dumplings made from flour or plantains or anything stew peas now stew peas is my second favorite jamaican dish um traditionally people used to cook it with like um corn uh, pig tail which is corn pig tail or corn beef or corn pork or if you don't want to use the, the um the salty meats then you can just use for me i like to use the soup bones because the bones give it this special flavor and um you've heard of of um beef beef broth or beef bone how healthy that is to make a broth for, to revitalize your muscles and your bones well for me this is what stew peas represents but um, other people will use anything they use like chicken feet or call it chicken foot um, chicken foot is another popular um, meat in Jamaica because that came out of the poorer class of people who would go for the the, the things that people would maybe throw away in the older days and wouldn't want so like but now these things are becoming special and more expensive so like chicken chicken foot we say chicken foot we don't say chicken feet um chicken foot is very popular in jamaica we also brown stew it and do all the other things with it but we like to put it on our stew piece too so you just um it's cooked down in coconut cream with all the seasonings and we usually eat it with white rice and uh, which is very popular in Jamaica. White, right? white rice is very popular. We just say white rice, we don't say rice. We say white rice. It's very popular in Jamaica because I guess Indians eat a lot of it and also the Chinese eat a lot of rice. No, every Jamaican eats a lot of rice. 
Um, now we are getting into brown rice and other types of rice. Dumplings are very popular for us. It's just flour with a little salt and you knead it with some water into a dough and you make these little, it could be round or it could be, um, if you want to make them oval or any shape you want. We also put them in, in soup too, in some little elongated shapes which we call spinners which I will show you later on. Uh, we also go healthy now where we make them with whole wheat flour or we use oats and whole wheat flour or oats and regular flour or we use it, add, we sometimes we add cornmeal to mix the cornmeal with the regular white flour and make our dumplings and they are really really delicious we love them with ackee and saltfish or just saltfish anything even our chicken or anything at all ground provisions now our ground provisions in jamaica well not we normally ground provisions would be like um yams because those are grown under the ground sweet potatoes irish potato but any starchy food as such which is not rice we call them provisions so like even our pumpkin we will call that ground provisions our plantains we call that provisions our cocoa yams we call those provisions our breadfruit which we call it provisions um, our breadfruit is very popular we love to eat it with ackee and saltfish sometimes we roast it which is more the more popular form of having it and then we fry it too after roasting it it can also be sliced and fried a lot of people don't know that and you can boil it too, we put it in our soups or we make it like potato salad, we can make a breadfruit salad. Now people are being creative and making breadfruit punch and all of that. Oh, and now we can we love our ripe fried plantain. Everybody loves ripe fried plantain and I love to have my green fried plantain for breakfast. And we just get creative with all these items and um, we have different types of yams, like yellow yam, um, the white yams, different types. I won't go into it in detail. Some are harder, some are softer, but it just adds a lot to our Jamaican dishes. As you will see here, we love our salted fish, which I spoke about that that was introduced during the time of slavery. Um, where it didn't require refrigeration and this just became such a part of our culture where it is now a part of our national dish. So here we see our saltfish stew which we cook it down in our regular tomato and onions, scallions and we can add some sweet peppers if we want. We are eating it with some renta which is one of the yams, it's a little softer. We have a yam called sweet yam which is similar but it is, it is much soft and much more delicate than the rental. So we also love to add saltfish to our callaloo or you can cook it separately and have the callaloo on the side. Callaloo is one of our other Jamaican vegetables which is very delicious and um, we sometimes we usually boil it first because it's very salty or if we're going to have this Indian thing we call saltfish choker. We usually roast the, chop, the saltfish first on an open flame and then we, after that, we, we soak out some of the salt out of it. And we also have it with cabbage. Sometimes we cook it with the cabbage. Sometimes we cook it um, on the side. We don't always cook it with the cabbage. We cook it on the side or we love to also cook it with okras. And saltfish is just really delicious and everyone knows that saltfish is one of the main breakfast items in Jamaica and we now turn to some of our other we mentioned corned beef we will now turn to some of our other um, fish uh, what you call preserved fish um, like in the, in the tins or we have the salt mackerel just as all you have salt fish you have salt mackerel which we cook the same way but we have a unique way of cooking it which we also do with the saltfish but not as much as we do it with the salted mackerel where we boil the mackerel first take out all the bones and take off the skin and break it up into little pieces and we cook it down in coconut cream with, uh, with our usual seasonings and that is called 
salt mackerel rundown we also did with saltfish too and with saltfish we just call it rundown we don't call it saltfish rundown we just say rundown some people up in other islands will say oil down and we love tin mackerel which is at first we used to just get it in tomato sauce it was very popular for the poor class of people because it is very affordable it is getting more expensive now and we just did the same cook down in our regular seasonings and we also have a newer way where we add some coconut cream to it and let that simmer down which is very delicious also so our sardine we do we cook it the same way as we do the tin mackerel basically or we just have it like that we take off take out the little things inside and the little th fins on the outside and we crush it and we add our seasonings and we add our mayonnaise and we have it with our crackers or with bread or anything like that so those are very popular it's a very popular meal in jamaica um, and our soups Jamaicans are known to love having soup on Saturdays or having soup for lunch where we love a hearty chicken soup with all the trimmings as in all the meat kinds and the not just chicken soup we will add chicken food to it too some people will also add other meats to it but this is just a chicken soup which we, you can add it pumpkin or not but when we add pumpkin it gives it this lovely orangish yellow color and th thickens up the soup and we add our scotch bonnet pepper to give it that extra flavor because scotch bonnet is not just hot it is very flavorful and we add our yams and other things as you'll see in the next Here video where i go pumpkin. through and show you what was in my chicken, chicken soup our breadfruit we have our corn, scotch and pepper, brown dumpling, spinach dumpling, and you see the yellow yam, cocoa, cocoa yams, and that's our Saturday soup. And our beef soup, um, same thing like the chicken soup. You can add, a, you can add a pumpkin or not, and you can also add peas, red peas. That's red kidney beans. When you're cooking the beef, everything is cooked, well cooked, and then you're adding coconut cream and adding the rest of the provisions and all of that. And here I show you what I added to my special beef soup. I've made some hearty beef soup today for Saturday dinner. It's a tradition in Jamaica to have beef soup for dinner. Um, I don't always do it, but because I wanted something healthy, I decided to do this. And again, I have made, we usually put in dumplings, these little dumplings and these long ones, we call them spinners. I have used oats and whole wheat flour instead of the regular um, white flour. And I'm going to put some sweet potato in there. The sweet potato is on the back burner boiling away. Um, I don't want it to boil in the soup itself because I don't want it to transfer the sweet flavor to the soup. So I just add it to the plate and put the soup on it at the end of the day when I'm sharing dinner. So this is it. Lots of beef. And with pumpkin, that's how it got this thickness. And carrots and corn. Pepper pot soup. This is very popular in a lot of Caribbean islands. Um, we cook it with, um, we add pigeon peas, which is the same as gunga peas. We add kalalu, we add okra, and we add any meat kind we want to add. And then we add our usual um, kalalu. People use different things as kalalu in different countries. Some use the, 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 the leaves of uh, what we call dasheen. They call it kalalu, but some form of green leafy vegetable. They put that in there too with our okra, and that's very delicious. And the fish, Jamaicans love a good fish. We have many popular fish spots in Jamaica, where if one spot that is maybe the largest is in Portmore at Hellshire Beach, where you have many, many, many um, restaurants where 
they bake them the little restaurants made out of wood some have are using concrete now on the beach front and they you go in and you choose your fish or your whatever shellfish you like your lobster and then they would make that to whatever uh, to in your special way so we always love our fried fish in Jamaica but we took it to another level uh, which we got from the Spanish where we called the escovitch fish where we cook down our onions and our peppers and our like, like carrot and other vegetables in a nice um, in vinegar and we add some pimento seeds for extra flavor and we just pour that over the fish and that's very yummy and delicious we love to have this with our bamis which is uh, cassava cakes which we also steam with the fish if you're having steamed fish or we have it with um it could be fried cassava cakes we have it with anything we have it with bread we have it with dumplings we have it with festival which is a special um, dumpling in Jamaica which is made from cornmeal and flour and sugar and it is made into a dough and fried it's like a sweet dumpling and um, that's very popular and um, so you would always get those with it you can also add sweet peppers to your escovitch sauce or add pineapple just to make it a little different but those are not traditional things to add to our escovitch sauce we also love our steam fish where we cook it with okras or pumpkin and our carrots, other vegetables and all our special seasonings and just simmer down that fish with a little butter and our special we have um, a soup paste called maggi and we will use it either straight from the soup packet or a maggi seasoning you may or may not do that we love our brown stew fish which is the same fried fish we cook it down the regular seasonings in some um, we might add you you get some not everyone likes to add like ketchup but some people just add a little soya sauce or a little browning to the also to give it that brown color or some don't if you add a lot of tomatoes also you don't have to add anything else some people add a little ketchup too so it depends on your 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 taste that you are looking for and we also love a fish in coconut sauce where we cook down the fish in a nice coconut sauce and we love our roasted fish you could also stuff the fish and roast it on the grill or in the oven you stuff it with kalalo and butter and seasonings and everything and everything just i hit i um, did a little thing here and added some capers which is not really a jamaican thing but it's just me doing my thing and we so that was the first 10 items of the Jamaican cuisine, which makes Jamaican cuisine so special. So join me in the next video, which is part two, in which I will tell you about the next 10 items, which makes our Jamaican cuisine so extra special and sought after all over the world. That's it. So guys, once again, thank you for watching my channel. Remember to press that red arrow at the bottom of the video. And to continue to watch, there is also a link at the end of each video. So you can watch that video which is linked. Or you can just search. And remember to check out my cooking videos. And to subscribe, share, comment. Leave a nice little comment like good video or if you want anything else to be shown. Or you want to add any information in the comment section please feel free to do so so i really appreciate you for watching my channel have a nice day bye